Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some bougie pepper shrimp ramen. So let me show you how easy this one is going to be and you all are going to love it. Of course you can use pork or beef or any other type of protein you would like to substitute. You're going to start by seasoning your washed and clean shrimp with some salt and Chinese seasoning salt. In goes some sesame oil. And you're going to mix really well and then just set it aside to marinate for about five to ten minutes. Next, you're going to place a wok or a skillet on a medium heat and add in your oil. Add ginger and garlic before the oil gets really hot because you don't want to burn it. You want to start to release the flavor in the oil. In goes one habanero pepper and triple mental peppers chopped. If you wanted to omit the pepper, you can. That is the habanero or you can use a scotch bonnet. Let that sort it for about 40 seconds and then we're going to go in with the shrimp. Now you want the shrimp to start to cook and get pink on one side, but first toss it with those aromatics. Once the, once the shrimp starts to turn pink on one side, you want to turn them over so the other side starts to cook, but you don't want it to cook all the way through because it still has some more cooking with the rest of the ingredients. Now we're going to add in the important ingredient, which is the ketchup. Now if you don't like ketchup, you can use one tablespoon of tomato paste and mix it in with about two tablespoons of water. Add in the ketchup and then add in some pepper soy sauce. I'm also going to go in with some chopped sweet peppers and chopped onions. Feel free to put whatever veggies you want in here. Now just mix. Once everything is mixed in, you're going to add in your boiled ramen. Now this is two blocks of ramen that I boiled. And I boiled it for three minutes because it's going to continue to cook in here. So you don't want to overcook the ramen. In goes scallions chopped and a drizzle of sesame oil. Now you're going to mix to bring everything together and if you have that spicy ramen sauce that comes in the pack, add some to this. Not all because the kids will not be able to eat it. You just want to add a little bit and it's going to amplify that flavor for you. And that's it. All you have to do is taste and adjust your salt and this is ready to be served. This was so delicious. My husband gave this an 11 out of 10. I hope you guys tried this recipe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.